Okay, hey guys, this is your girl Breezy, and I'm back with another video. My baby boy is joining me, of course. <laughs> um, but I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys what's going to be in my diaper bag, uh, hospital bag, uh, for when I do go to the hospital. I'm due in actually five days, June 6th. Today is June 1st. So um, this is what I am taking to the hospital with me. And it's pretty big, so it's going to be able to carry mine and baby girl's uh, stuff in it so I won't have to do like a diaper bag and or a baby bag and my hospital bag everything's going to be in here this bag came from Amazon uh, I just really like the print so um, I went ahead and ordered that so we're going to go ahead and open it and get started with everything that's in here I am missing a couple of things like my phone charger of course my phone um, uh, the snacks that I'm going to bring um, matter of fact, let me grab the list. Hold on. Okay, so I'm missing my camera, which is what I'm recording on. My phone, my chargers, um, my face cream, my lotion, my pillow with a bright pillowcase because when I went in with him, I had a tan pillowcase. And y'all, I left my pillowcase. Yeah, you see yourself? I left my pillow and my um, charger because it was like under the pillow. So I'm going to make sure that I have a bright pillowcase so that I remember my pillow this time. Uh, what else am I missing? Um, my puzzle book, which I'm going to bring just to kind of entertain myself if I ever feel like, you know, doing some puzzles or something like that. Like I said, the snacks, my pads that I'm going to bring. Um, my prenatal vitamins, which are in my purse, I need to go ahead and put them in here because I want to be able to have those. Um, I'm going to continue to take them while I'm breastfeeding. So, yeah, those are the things that aren't in here. But pretty much everything else um, that's in here is what I'm going to take. So, if you guys notice that I'm missing something or something that I should definitely have that I don't, leave a comment below and let me know. Uh, hopefully, I don't have this baby prior to that <laughs> so that I can make sure I go ahead and put it in the bag. Um... And I do want to say, if I do not go into labor, unfortunately, the way my doctor works is they make you wait until 41 weeks, which I'm going to have a conversation with her on Friday at my appointment when I'm 40 weeks in one day, because I think that's kind of ridiculous, especially being my fourth pregnancy, that I have to wait till I'm 41 weeks in order to get induced when I was only 40 weeks in two days when I got induced with him so um yeah but they scheduled me for 41 weeks and one day so that date is June 14th so if I don't have her prior to that that is when I will go into the hospital to have her but fingers crossed I do have her prior to I went to the doctor yesterday and I was two centimeters dilated at 39 weeks and one day and they did strip my membranes um I have been having mild cramping but nothing, but nothing too much to where I think, you know, she's coming tonight or anything like that. But let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I have that I see in here is my robe. I'm going to bring my robe. This is the robe that I'm going to bring. It's a purple robe, um, silk robe that I'm going to bring just to have. I have uh, just some gray leggings that I'm going to bring to go home in. Plain, simple gray leggings. Um, I have the top in here that I'm going to wear, which is this pink maternity top that I got from Walmart. It's by Secret Treasures Maternity. So it's just a pink nursing tank top, plain nursing tank top. It was only $9.49 at Walmart. I have this uh, belly band that I got from Amazon that I'm going to actually put on after I have baby girl to cinch in my waist. I've never done this with any of my other children, but um, I'm definitely going to try it this time around and see how that goes. I do have uh, two um, nursing bras that I'm going to bring just in case. I don't know if I'm going to actually wear them, but... Just in case I do want to wear something, um, I have them. So it's a purple one and a black one. And I got both of these from Amazon. And the belly band I got from Amazon as well. 
I have these birthing socks that I'm going to wear. Um, they're white with pink grips on the bottom. And on the bottom it says, baby, you're worth it. I don't know if that's going to focus. Yeah. Well, what I got going on in the background. But it does say, baby, you're worth it. There you go. So that's what it says on the bottom of that. And these were from um, Amazon as well. I guess this is who it came from. Kindred Bravely um, is what the card says. It's by Kindred Bravely. Um, I don't know if it's going to focus on that. But yeah, Kindred Bravely. So I had those. Um, I do have my slippers that I got from Amazon as well. Um, there's these faux fur gray bedroom memory foam slippers. Um, I actually saw Liza Adele here on YouTube, her Instagram stories. She showed these and they look pretty comfortable so I went ahead and ordered them off of Amazon. They weren't um, expensive at all. I can't remember exactly how much they were but they definitely weren't expensive. Um, this isn't a maternity gown, nightgown, but it's uh, very, you know, comfortable and loose fitting. So I do have this nightgown that I'm going to take with me um, to the hospital. I don't know how much stuff I'm going to feel like wearing. A lot of times when I'm in the hospital after having a baby, I just wear the robe that they give me because it's just kind of easy um, to maneuver around in. I uh, don't really go out of the room a lot while I'm there. And the hospital that I deliver at, they only require you to stay there for 24 hours depending on the time that you have your baby. So if you have your baby in the morning, you would normally get discharged the very next morning. But like with Xavier, I had him at 11.40 p.m. So of course they're not going to discharge me at 11.40 p.m. the next night. So they discharged me the very next morning. So it was a little bit more than 24 hours. But I definitely wasn't there 48 hours. And I have this um, maternity nursing nightgown as well. It's just a plain, plain gray one. Um, this one I got from Walmart a while ago, actually with him. And the purple one I got from Ross when I was uh, pregnant, early on in my pregnancy. Um, I do have my undies. They're by Fruit of the Loom. Just regular undies, um, you know, they're called the high cuts, so I just got these in, um, in case I needed them. Normally, I wear the mesh ones from the hospital. I saw a couple of people got these, um, like, diaper pads from Amazon or from Target or Walmart. Um, kind of, like, depends, but they're like the mesh underwear that they give you in the hospital, but they're a little bit more comfortable. And it comes with the pad already in it. You don't have to worry about putting the pad inside of the mesh undies and then pulling those up. It's like all in one. So I think that is all that I have for me outside of the stuff that I told y'all I still needed to put in here. Um, so I'll get to that in a minute. Oh, and the bras did come with extra... Um, back clips in case you know you're a little wider than what the bra comes so I do like that about them they came with extra ones of those excuse me got some more um, so now let's move on to baby girl stuff oh um, I'll get on to what my toiletries and stuff that I have after I show you guys what I have for baby girl oh um, for myself I see in here that I do have a few breast pads which I don't know if I'm going to need I don't know how soon my milk is going to come in I doubt if it comes in a little bit of time that I am in the hospital but you never know what can happen and how long they end up wanting you to stay so I'm going to bring just four of them just four of them just in case and I also have my nipple cream just in case as well now the stuff that I have for baby girl are a few diaper cloths. So I'm going to, you know, have these on hand just in case I need them for, you know, whatever accident she may have. Um, I have this big blanket that my sissy got me from, uh, for my baby shower. And it says, um, you are, I think it says you are loved. Yes, it says you are loved and it's, it smells so good. Because I've already washed everything for her. So it smells really, really good. Um, but it says you are and then loved. Hopefully y'all can see that. Um, so I'm going to like lay this out on the bed and take pictures of her with this. Um, I thought that was really cute. It came in like a, it's like muslin. 
um so it came in a set of three uh but this was like you know because of what it said by far the cutest one so i just want to bring this to take pictures of her in um i do have a couple of blankets with uh hats for her um swaddles with hats and i do have one other swaddle that's not in here it's actually drying right now um that i got her off of amazon and it's a swaddle uh kind of floral like these but it's like a seafoam green um maybe around this color something like that but it's like a bow instead of a hat so these her god mommy got her um so thank you shout out to her um this is like a pink and floral swaddle with a pink and floral hat with the bow on it um this is like a navy bluish one or black i don't i can't really tell if it's black or navy blue it looks navy blue floral with the navy blue floral hat with the bow on it um i have the seafoam green floral swaddle with the seafoam green hat with the bow on it as well um i don't know how many pictures i'm going to take with her i don't know if we're going to do the whole hospital pictures but um i'm going to have my camera so i'll be able to take you know the pictures of her that i want um i'll see over here i also have something for me which is the pink nightgown very similar it's the exact same as the gray one i got this from walmart as well um so i just have three nightgowns just in case you know you bleed a lot and i don't know you know what's going on down there <laughs> while i'm in the hospital so i have extras just in case um uh my her god mommy also got her these no i got her these from amazon um they're the hospital uh looking caps but it has the bow on it so the hospital that I deliver at has the generic caps that are like these, but it doesn't have a bow on it. So I'm going to ask them to put this on her when she is born. Um, and it came in a pack of four. So I just have all of them just because I'm extra and I want it <laughs> to pack all of them. So that's the blue and striped one. This is a pink and striped one. And this is just a plain white one. Um, I also have some socks for baby girl um you know just to have the socks for her even though i know they give her that type of stuff in the hospital i still wanted to bring you know my own i have mittens for her as well so that she doesn't scratch her face this is another pair of socks um i'm going to also bring my flip-flops that i'm going to have you know to shower with and um i have another pair of slides that i'm going to bring that i'm probably going to just wear to the hospital and wear back home um it'll be pretty hot when i have her it's already hot here in maryland so uh you know some sliding shoes will be fine for me to wear i do have a couple of options uh for her as far as going home outfits so i'll show you all that you guys that in a minute um so i have a total of three mittens these are two i just showed you the other one he is playing under the covers. Um, I have three um, onesies. My sister got me these along with the mittens. And I believe they came from Target. So this is like a cream with uh, star gold stars. This one says so sweet. It's pink with gold writing. And then this one says uh, princess. It's like striped with the bunny on it. And the princess is in black. So I have those three onesies and they all match the mittens that she got me as well. And for the going home outfits, I have two of them. I have one, I don't know, you know, how big she'll be. So I have one that is, I think they're both newborn, but they're just different styles. So this one, it says super sweet and it comes with a choice of uh, the cherry bottoms, which goes with the cherry right there. And then it just has polka dots. Um, navy blue with pink polka dots and it has like these cute little buttons on the ankles so that's one outfit and the third outfit is this uh, cute it's newborn as well like I said it's this cute floral top with the ties for the um, sleeves very cute and then it comes with a onesie option as well with the ruffles on the sleeves it's just a gray onesie and then the little puffy bottom shorts um as you can see with the ruffles around the bottoms so just depending on which one will fit her better will um help me decide what she wears home um 
I also want to show you guys this dress that I got her that I believe is a newborn so hold on I'll be right back okay guys I'm back um the two outfits that I showed you for the options of going home they were from my baby shower so I'm not exactly sure where they came from but this one I bought myself it is newborn I think I just want to have it for pictures but I might just wait for this until we get home um I'm not sure but I'm going to go ahead and wash it just in case and um bring it just in case I do decide to let the hospital take her pictures this is the cat and jack brand and it was $17.99 and it's just a you know frilly dress really really pretty and it has like the um little you know undies underneath it as well super cute super super cute so I think I just want this for pictures but I'm not sure if I don't end up using it in the hospital for the uh, hospital pictures I'm definitely going to have it at home when I take her pictures once we get home um, so that is just about everything that is everything so outside of what I told you guys that I was going to bring um, that I'm missing that's everything so I'm going to get into the toiletries I have this set of um, loofahs that I got from I think I got these from Walmart yeah I got them from Walmart they're the Equate brand so they were in the travel um, section so I just got these it was like a little piece of lint in it um, so I got these to wash with when I get in the shower I like to use bar soap for certain areas if you know what I mean and body wash for the rest of my, my body so I do have this bar soap holder um, so that I can you know carry it back home and have it once I get home this is another thing that I got from Amazon and it looks you know like Louis Vuitton um, this is something else that I saw Liza Adele and Tara Lynn aka Tara Henderson here on YouTube Tara Lynn is her um, Instagram but I saw this um, bag toiletry bag from both of those ladies I think Liza had it first and then Tara ended up putting it on her Instagram as well so I thought it was really cute toiletry bag so I went ahead and bought it this is from Amazon and it's by Daisy and Rose um, and if I can find the link for it I know it sells out pretty quickly if I can find the link for it and those slippers I'll definitely link it below for you guys in case you're interested but um, when I open it first thing I see is my Dove body wash I use Dove body wash so I have that I had used secret so I have a little travel size secret deodorant um, oh I do have my lotion I have the Aveeno lotion that way I don't have to bring my big lotion that I use um, I have my toothbrush and it comes with like a sanitary case um, you know to keep the actual brush covered I have some Col Colgate Total White toothpaste. I have a hair tie. Um, although I don't think I'm going to need it because I ended up putting these braids in. So hopefully she comes before these braids get old. Um, I actually did this myself. It was my first time ever doing these kind of braids on myself. I normally do them on my daughter. But um, I had the time and patience to do them on myself. So I went ahead. Uh, I have these wet ones. Antibacterial wipes for anything that I might need to wipe down so I went ahead and grabbed those and I have a thing of Vaseline so that way I have you know stuff for my lips or anything that I may need it for I'm definitely bringing that so uh, that is pretty much all that I'm going to bring I don't normally bring makeup or anything like that to deliver my children I might bring something just in case we decide to do pictures in the hospital. I'll bring something light, um, nothing, you know, too dramatic that I'm sitting there. I'll make sure my brows are done, that I have mascara, and I'll probably do light foundation uh, depending on how my skin is acting. Um, and then that's probably all that I'm going to end up adding to this bag right before we go. Um, so, yeah, that is pretty much everything. So hopefully this guys, I mean this helped you guys get some tips on maybe what you can bring for your hospital bag. And like I said, I'll link those things down below if I can still find them. Um, like that Louis Vuitton lookalike bag. The travel kit was uh, selling out pretty fast. So I'll see if that's still available. And if so, it'll be linked down below along with those slippers, the nursing bras that I got. Um, or anything else that I can find that I bought from Amazon. Uh, for myself or the baby, I'll link below 
if I can still find the link and if they're still available um, for you guys to purchase. So definitely leave me comments below if there was anything that I forgot. There is one thing that I do want to show you. I don't know if I'm going to need it because like I said I don't know if my milk is going to come in quick enough. Okay I'm back guys. It's not in the bag yet because I haven't washed it as you can see. I just got it in the mail yesterday um, and I ordered this from Target. It is the Haka. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Let me turn it around because you can't even see the name. The Haka Silicone Breast Pump and Flower Stopper. So I got this from Target.com. I saw this all over Instagram. So I wanted to try it out. And it's basically, um, you're able to capture the um, um, milk from the other breast that, you know, baby isn't sucking on. Um, the letdown from your other breast. And you can just kind of see how it's used here, how you use it in this picture on the back of the box. But it basically just catches the letdown from the um, opposite breast. I wanted to focus. Okay. It basically catches the letdown from the opposite breast of whichever one your baby is not using. And it looks like this. It comes packaged in this cylinder tube. It has tissue paper on it. This is the stopper. It came in like a little box um, separately, but I uh, took it out and just put it in that box all together. Um, and this is what the Haka actually looks like. Um, hopefully you guys can see that pretty good. So yeah, I got this. I'm going to take it. Don't know if I'm going to actually need it, but better safe than sorry. Uh, and I've heard rave reviews about this thing. So definitely check them out on Instagram, H-A-A-K-A-A. -A um, and you should be able to find it. Um, it is BPA free. So, um, and it's number one New Zealand eco uh, maternal and baby brand. So, I've heard lots of good things about it. So, um, you guys should check it out. You won't, you know, waste any of your baby, of your breast milk um, with this thing. So, I think that's pretty cool. Yes. So, um, I'll link this down below as well, where I got it from, from Target. Um, yeah, so that is literally everything, everything that I could think of. So, if I'm missing anything, please leave a comment down below and let me know. I'm going to also bring a Febreze on the go spray, just to have it for the room. Um, you just never know with hospitals how it may smell. So, I'm going to bring that just so that, you know, I can always have a refreshing smell if I need it. Um, for anything so I also have that and outside of that I cannot think of anything else that I would need to bring so definitely definitely let me know down below if I'm missing anything and I greatly appreciate it thank you all so much for watching give this a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and I'll definitely see you guys when I go in labor because I'm doing a labor and delivery vlog as well so check that out whenever it's released whenever baby girl is finished baking and decides to show or get it i get induced so we'll definitely see but thanks guys and i'll see you guys in the next one bye